Welcome to your monthly Air Tribe report. This is the Peace Dealer, and I hope you gain the utmost of clarity from this report. If you have your rising or moon sign in Gemini, or sun, by the way, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this report will be accurate for you as well. We do have the Page of Cups, so this does speak to the birth of new emotions some of you the birth of new children however you may find there's a credible opportunity for new love for some of you um especially for those of you in existing relationships it's almost as if the feelings you have for your partner are are rebirthed rekindled it, you would develop newer more fresher more authentic feelings for them in other cases this will represent new intuitive gifts that are birthed regardless you do want to tap into that inner child and feel don't be afraid to love even if it's irrational i mean that motherfucker is talking to a fish so don't try and be logical here gemini we do have the temperance card the six of pentacles and the high priestess you'll find it as your psychic abilities develop this creates more financial flow in your life and a different way to understand the intuitive expressions of your soul your life is actually going to be brought into great balance with much needed moderation and this is going to really be great as you get paid back money you're owed and could possibly lend out more or if you need financial assistance can receive some too don't be too prideful to ask the high priestess card is going to reveal some insane secrets that have been kept sacred until now that we're in the show me season because sagittarius just has to show off so keep that in mind gemini Libra, we do have the Seven of Cups, the Tower card, and the, t uh, I'm sorry, Justice and the Tower. This could be lawsuits that go kind of crazy. But it also could indicate instant decisions that are just made at a whim. The Justice card is urging you to have all your ducks in a row. I see this as you kind of foreseeing some issues, and that's because you're psychic and you're, you're, your foresight is on point. It's not any psychic ability. You just know how to intelligently to, you know deduce things together so be mindful of that because you can avoid a very harsh situation if you, on paper everything is right on your end um you definitely now that you know the tower card is coming you can prepare for it so keep that in mind now everything that glitters is gold make sure opportunities offered to you are legit and if they're not willing to sign anything on paper, you I don't have to tell you. You know it's just not worth it. Aquarius, we do have the Emperor, Temperance, and the Seven of Wands. You're going to also, like Gemini, be bringing your life into greater balance and authority here with the Emperor on your own merit, disciplining a lot more of your decisions, and really just, you know, not being too nice to people who don't deserve your niceness. Because the Emperor could be a bit of a dick. But we do have the seven of wands here, which is talking about the victory that comes from standing your ground and defending your rightful place on the throne, the throne of the stars, Aquarius, because you are the star gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for tuning in, Air Tribe. Show me some love in the comments. I hope this is accurate for you. And until next season, peace.